Hey there, it's Jen and I'm back with another layout for Ellie's Studio. <clears throat> Excuse me, today I am working with the April Kit plus uh, the new Live Laugh Love collection. So you can see that I've already kind of pulled out some bits that it might work for this layout. I only have one 3x4 photo. This is a picture of my nephews. It's a little bit blurry. They don't sit still and so it's just um, one of those kind of photos where you know you're just trying to do the best that you can. The fact that they're both standing there is amazing and so I just wanted to talk a little bit about how um, they're just on the go all the time. They're one of my favorite little people to scrapbook about. So um, because I just have one 3x4 photo, I thought it would be nice to use some of the 3x4 cards to make a kind of a loose grid. Not a loose grid, but not a perfectly lined up grid. So I'm going to plan on not um, putting these all exactly in a, in a square. But um, these are two of the cards from the Live Laugh Love collection. And I love this one specifically, so I wanted to use that. And then this one is from the April kit. And I've got the rest of the cards from the April kit pulled out because I'm not exactly sure about this one. I might want to switch it out for something else. I kind of like this one. It just depends on what I decide if I can put stuff in here or um, there's lots of white space on all of them, which I like because there's lots of white space on the photo. But I'm trying to decide if I'm going to fill them up. Like I might put the title on one um, and or how I'm going to do that. I'm not exactly sure yet. So I might need one that has more of a saturation of color just so that I don't have to fill up the spaces if that makes sense. So I've got that pulled out. Um, I have my little uh, dish here with some of the die cuts from this month's kit as well as the vellum die cuts that are an add-on. Uh, not an add-on but like an additional item in the shop that you can you can purchase. Uh, I've also got the wood veneer, um, the stamp set, and then I also have the live laugh love bits and pieces. I want this to be a simple layout but I never know exactly what I'm going to want so I just pull out the things that might work and then I, I decide later. Um, I'm thinking for my title I might use some of the puffy alphabet stickers so I pulled out the three that kind of match the colors here. I'm leaning towards this red color. Um, I think it's actually called pink but I'm not exactly sure I can't remember I'll link to it in the video description um, and then I just have a bunch of other stuff from the live laugh love collection uh, and from this month's uh, kit or or extras from the from this month so I've got all that pulled out I'm gonna start here now these are two pattern papers from live laugh love I thought about going with this one but because I have the paint strokes here and this one is kind of a paint stroke as well I decided against this but I wanted to show you that I think it could definitely work for a background especially if you have a lot of white going on with the cards or the photos that you use um, but I'm not going to use it here just because it's too much of that brush look for me so I'm going to use this uh, wood grain, which on the back is some hearts. I think this could also work for a background, but I would probably frame this out so that it, it had a little bit of definition. So just uh, that's where I'm starting out, and I'm going to put you on fast forward and talk you through my process here. Okay, so I'm going to start by just trimming off the branding strip here. And then I'm going to start arranging my little grid on my background. There was a little bit on that photo. I, I print my 3x4 photos too on a 4x6. And so sometimes when I trim them apart, I still have a little piece of the other, <laughs> uh, the other photo left on there. Um, what I'm going to do first is I have these loosely laid out how I think I want them. But I'm going to go ahead and figure out my title. And I'm going to go with those reddish pink letters and spell out the words on the move. Because that's going to be my title about how these boys are always on the move. And I wanted to put it to the right of those paint strokes. And I kind of decided some of, they kind of go in and out. And the way that they went in and out, it worked best if I um, right justified that title. So now it's sitting there on wax paper while I decide what I want to do with the rest of everything. So I'm just kind of digging through the die cuts and the vellum shapes and the different things that I pulled out to see what might work for this layout. And I like the idea of using the stars, so I pull those out. And then there is a little die cut that says love our time together. And I definitely want to use some of this little wood veneer confetti. I love that part of the kit and I haven't used it yet. So that is my plan. And I thought to bring in some more of the wood. It would be nice to, to use that piece, that scalloped piece from the Live Laugh Love collection. And here's where I'm deciding that I think I do want to switch out that card for the polka dot one. I just felt like it was too much white space. I didn't know what I was going to write in those spaces. And I knew I wanted to my, do my journaling on the notes little card. So 
Um, I have a little banner die cut on the notes card right now, but it's going to not stay there. I thought I needed a pop of color, but I'll move it because it looks weird. So now I want to stamp this uh, stamp that says real life on it, and it's a circle. So I'm using one of the three by four cards that has a little yellow space, and then there's a grid underneath it. And I stamped it so that the word real is on the solid yellow and the life is on the grid. And when I cut it out, it kind of looks cool. It looks like a printed die cut. And I stamped it with some gray, I think it's Old Road Prima chalk ink. And I, I like the gray. I also had punched that little green shape that had the date on it out of another card, but it had black and I decided that black was going to be too harsh for this particular layout. So I'm just going with grays. And um, so I removed that. So here I'm still trying to decide how I can add in another, like a pop of rainbow color on the bottom side because I'm feeling like it needs more color. Uh, but nothing I do is quite working out. So I'm just going to move on and glue down my, my grid here while I'm deciding what to do. And you can see I did it purposely uh, misaligned and I'm going to pop up that little circle that I stamped with I just used some foam adhesive from um, Walmart that's, it's got an adhesive back on one side and then it's just called fun foam, I think. You get like 60 sheets for $5 or less. So it's really inexpensive. So I'm going ahead and putting down my title now. And again, I'm just right justifying it. I like the way the word move kind of uh, nestles in there. And then um, there, that little blue paint streak comes out and pushes into the word, not into the word the, but. Um, I think you can tell what I'm saying. Anyway, I like the way that the paint strokes move around the title. And I stamped the words true story underneath that in that same gray ink. And um, I really like the way that looks as well. And I'm just adding that, that circle that's going to go on the top photo, on the photo, with that same foam adhesive just so that both of those circles are popped up. And I'm trying to decide if I want to have it hanging off the top or right in between their heads. And I decided to put it in between their heads. And I'm going to add another circle in a little bit here. So now I'm going to play with the vellum stars and kind of arrange those and see how those might work out. And I like the way that if I put the red star at the bottom that it brings down some more color. So that's kind of helping me with my pops of color issue that I was having down there. So I'm going to paint the wood veneer pieces white with just some acrylic paint and I start just painting them straight white and then I decide if I'm going to include that scallop underneath the word notes that I wanted to have some of the wood grain still showing, not solid white. So these are really tiny so it's hard to see but I painted half of the shape white. Um, instead of the whole shape. And so it's a really small detail you'll be able to see in the close-up photos, but um, that's what I'm doing here. I'm just using a small pink brush and painting half of the shape white. And I do paint hearts, diamonds, and stars, but I'm only going to use the stars. And I'll use the other ones on another project another time. But I, <laughs> in the end, I really don't love the way that the stars end up looking but it is what it is and it's done now so <laughs> I can't change it. I glued them down and it's okay. So I'm just kind of playing around with them trying to decide how I want to arrange them, how many I want in each cluster. I'm trying to kind of make it be a diagonal design. So I went ahead and added my journaling and now I'm thinking about adding the date and I'm going to add it to the top card above the title. And now I'm going to think about um, gluing down the wood veneer. So I glued down the scallop shape. And I'm thinking about if I want to add that, <laughs> that little die cut somewhere else. I decide I want to add another stamp and I'm going to stamp this so that it's two-toned. So I have some red ink. It says can't get enough. I stamped it on some scratch paper and cut it out and I like it, but I'm thinking I maybe want to do the words can't get in gray and the word enough in the red. And with these little tiny chalk inks, it's really easy to just kind of selectively ink the spaces that you want. And so that's what I did. And I stamped, stamped that phrase down there. And I found this love you die cut and it's red. And I like the way that looks layered up there at the top. It's a little bit large. It's the same size as the other circle, which kind of bothers me. So what I'm just doing now, and you can't see because it's off the camera, but I am hand trimming it so it's a little smaller. So it's not completely circular now. It's a little wonky and I'm okay with that. So 
I was noticing that my grid wasn't completely centered and so I'm moving the cards around a little bit so it's a little bit more even. Um, and specifically I was thinking for the stars that are going on the diagonal that I wanted them to have the a, an equal amount of space to work with and I noticed there was less on the right so I'm just trying to fix that a little bit now and arranging my wood veneer so that it is scattered about and I'm just putting a little bit of adhesive where I know it's going to be covered underneath where it's adhered, like underneath the card. And so that's the only adhesive I used on those vellum shapes. And it's it holds it nicely and it's it's great. So my my adhesive is clogged. I am using some Thermoweb mixed media adhesive. It's super strong and I love it. Um, but it it needs to be unclogged. I need to get it unclogged. So I am just using a little tiny dot of it on the back of each of these little wood veneer stars and just kind of randomly placing them down. I overlapped a couple of them onto the cards just so that it connected them further. And now I'm looking at the puffy stickers from the Live Laugh Love collection and I don't end up using any, but they were fun to look at for a second. <laughs> I love puffy stickers. So I'm looking through some of the stickers and labels that are extras this month and also through the live laugh love stuff and just trying to decide what else this needs so I thought it might need enamel dots so I'm using some of the new enamel dots and scattering some red on the bottom and some green on or er, teal on the top and I really don't like that so I will take it off <laughs> although I'm gonna think about it for a while before I decide that I don't like it and I am feeling like that bottom card needs at least one more thing in that cluster it's I don't know, it feels unfinished. So I cut this strip from the Live Laugh Love um, collection and I'm thinking about where I could place it. I was thinking it might be cute to place one at the top and one at the bottom, but then I didn't have another one I wanted to use and so uh, that will come off as well. But I'm looking at my cards trying to see if there's something else. There's not. <laughs> um, I was being a little bit indecisive here. So here's where I take off the enamel dots and I think maybe I can place some of the enamel dots on top of the wonky circles on this card. And I decide I kind of like that look, it just gives the card a little texture. Um, and I wish that I would have done this, after I did this I was thinking now those wood veneer stars are too much. Um, and I wished I wouldn't have done them, but I already did them so I'm leaving both and it's okay. Uh, and I decide that I definitely needed to add in that red star and so I'm adding it now. And that brings that pop of red back down to that area and I like that more and um, I'm looking oh, let's see oh yeah I decide to put there is a little border stamp that has polka dots on it and I decide to stamp it in gray um, just to give a little texture at the top and the bottom of the layout and I really like the way that looks it's it's very subtle but uh, in person it looks really cool so that is going to finish off this layout for me I hope that you have enjoyed if you have any questions leave me a comment in the video description and uh, you can find out more details over on the Ellie Studio blog at shop ellie studio.com slash blog thanks so much for watching and we'll see you again soon